Hi everybody, welcome to this day in history. We are here and live on the scottshow.com talking about this day in history. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead, we're going to go right to the events. It is December the 30th, the 364th day of the year. One more tomorrow and then we're done uh, with 2017 going on to 2018. It's going to be a great time. All right, so in 1419, the Hundred Year War happened in the Battle of La Rochelle in 1460. The War of the Roses, uh, the third Duke of York died, uh, got killed by the uh, Alcastrians, or Lacastrians, La or from Lacaster. Um, and they won the Battle of Wakefield. There you go. All right, 1702, Queen Anne's War. James Moore, the governor of the Providence of Carolina, abandons the siege of St. Augustine. In 1813, the Battle of 1812, uh, British soldiers burn Buffalo. There you go. Uh, In 1816, the Treaty of St. Louis between the United States and the United Ottawa, Ojibwe, and Potawatomi. Indian tribes is proclaimed in 1825. Now this is nine years later. The Treaty of St. Louis between the United States and the Shawnee Nation is proclaimed. In 1853, the Gatson Purchase. The United States buys land from Mexico to facilitate railroad building in the Southwest. In 1896... Filipino patriot and reform advocate uh, <clears throat> Jose Rydal is executed by a Spanish firing squad. In 1896, same day, Canadian hockey player Ernie McLee scores the first hat trick in Stanley Cup play and the Cup winning goal as the Victorias of Montreal. Defeat the Winnipeg Victorias 6 to 5. In 1897, the British colony of Natal annexes Zululand. There you go. Um, 1905, former Idaho governor Frank Stenenberg is assassinated at the front gate of his home in Codwell, Idaho. In 1906, the All India Muslim League is founded in British India, now called Bangladesh. Uh, in 1916, Rus- Russian mystic and advisor to the Tsar uh, Put- uh, Rasputin was murdered by a loyalist group led by the Prince Felix. His frozen body was discovered in the river three days later. So three days from now, we will be having that discussion one more time. In 1916, the last coronation in Hungary is performed by King Charles IV and Queen Zita. In 1919, Lincoln's End in London, England, uh, amidst the first female bar student. In 1922, the Union of Socialists of Soviet Socialist Republics is born and formed, and that, folks, is the USSR. Uh, in 1936, the United Auto Workers Union stages its first sit-down strike. In 1944, King George II of Greece declares a regency, leaving the throne vacant. 1947, the Cold War, King Michael I of Romania is forced to advocate by the Soviet Union-backed communist government of Romania. And I actually think, and I'm going to just kind of go out on a little side note here. I think King Michael, uh, and I'm going to find this out just to make sure, I think King Michael just passed away. So, So let's take a little peek at that and find out where we're at. All right, so King My- uh, Michael I of Romania, he died December the 5th in 2017. He was the last king of Romania. Um, he reigning from 1927 to 1930, and then again from 1940 to 1947. So there you go, he's the last king of Romania. Interesting stuff, folks. 
All right. <clears throat> 1954, the Finnish National Bureau of Investigation is established to consolidate criminal investigation and intelligence into a single agency. So the Finnish will tell you what's up. In 1965, Ferdinand Marcos becomes the president of the Philippines and starts collecting shoes for his wife. In 1972, the Vietnam War, the United States halts heavy bombing in North Vietnam. In, in uh, 1997, we'll go with 1997, in the worst incident in Algeria's insurgency, Massacre killed 404 villages in 1997. 2004, a fire in a nightclub in Buenos Aires, Argentina, kills 194 people. 2005, tropical storm Zeta forms in the open uh, Atlantic Ocean, tying a record for the latest tropical cyclone ever to form in a North Atlantic basin. 2006, former president of Iraq, Saddam Hussein, executed. 2009, a suicide bomber kills nine people in forward operating base Chapman, a key facility of the CIA in Afghanistan. And in 2013, more than 100 people are killed when anti-government forces attack key buildings in Kinshasa, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. So we got a lot of births going on today. Uh, four deaths I want to uh, bring light to. Of course, I just talked about Saddam Hussein, who died this day in twenty in 2006. Um, but a few others I want to talk about, just because I saw them and uh, their names that I recognize. Sam Mushnick, who uh, co-founded the National Wrestling Alliance, uh, he died this day, 1998. Uh, Pope Innocent the Ninth died this day in 1591, and Pope Felix the First died 274. So those are just ones that I wanted to bring light to. I normally don't bring a lot of light to death, uh, but we do got tons of birthdays. So here we go. We got. Uh, first birthday, we want to uh, say happy birthday to Titus, the Roman emperor born in A.D. 39. Uh, if he was alive, he'd be really, 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 really old. So, just saying. Uh, <coughs> Kepling <coughs> was born this day, 1865. Uh, Bo Diddley was born in 1928. Del Shannon born in 1934. Sandy Koufax, born in 1935. James Barrows, who created some of the greatest shows on TV, born in 1940. Fred Ward, born 1942, so happy birthday to Fred. Davy Jones from the Monkees, born 1945. Patty Smith, born 1946. Jeff Lynn, born 1947. Patricia Patricia Clumber, born 1956, amazing actress. Saw her on Orange is the New Black as Nikki's mom. Um, Matt Lauer, born 1957, uh, shares a birthday with one of my favorite actors of all time, and I just I just think the world of this guy's seen him in a whole bunch of things. Glenn Robbins. Happy birthday to Glenn Robbins. You are cooler than the other side of the pillow. Glenn Robbins, happy birthday to you. Uh, Tracy Ullman, who brought the world to Simpsons. And, of course, the great song, They Don't Know About Love, They Don't Know About Us. A great song. Uh, Tracy Ullman, happy birthday to you. Uh, and hopefully bringing us more comedy as the day goes along. Um, Bill English, happy birthday to Mr. English. Sean Hannity, happy birthday to Sean Hannity. Um, Heidi Fleiss, it's, Hi it's Heidi Fleiss's birthday today, 1965. And then who do I talk about next? But none other than Tiger Woods. Go figure. Uh, Tiger, happy birthday to Tiger Woods, uh, golfer and all-around cool guy. Uh, Tyrese Gibson, 
Happy birthday to Tyrese. Happy birthday to Allison McGovern. Uh, happy birthday to Eddie Edwards. Uh, happy birthday to the king uh, himself, LeBron James, the king of the NBA, apparently. Um, Ellie Golden, happy birthday to you. And Carson Wentz, happy birthday to all you guys. It is, of course, December 30th, as I said. It is the day of the declaration of Slovakia as an independent province. It's the fifth day of Kwanzaa, and it is the sixth of the 12 days of Christmas. Don't forget it. There will be a quiz at the end of the day. You guys have a great day. Catch you here real soon on the Scott Show podcast. We're going to go out with a little bit of tunes. Tomorrow, the last day of 2017, join us for this day in history tomorrow. And have a great day here on the Scottshow.com.